Stadium is buzzing already and with good cause. Two top sides ready to go at it and this should be something special on the pitch. It's live on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome from the English West Midlands. We find ourselves at Molyneux. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers up against Aston Villa. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would... It's there for him. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, it's great to see a team playing with wingers in a 4-3-3, but they've got to be effective, both with their dribbling and their crosses. Otherwise, they'll become bit part players. My goodness, that save, fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And over it comes, struggling to get it away, and goes for goal! And effectively parried away by the keeper. And it crossed the byline, a goal kick as a result. Well, we're at the business end of the season now, and when you look at the top of the table, still unclear who's going to take the title. One thing you can guarantee, though, is you can watch it all unfold live here on EA TV. Well, you certainly know who pays your wages, Derek, but I think everybody can see this is going to be a great finale to the season. Which team will keep grinding out the results? It's going to be very exciting. Bubakar Kamara. And on the ball, Danzo. It's with Camara. And using his strength to shield the ball. And well, that's the end of that move for now. So for Wolves, a bitter taste of defeat in the last game. They lost against Burnley. What do you expect to see this time, Stuart? Well, it was a disappointing loss, particularly at home. Today they need a reaction, and I think we'll see one. If they start the game on the front foot and score an early goal, they could win this comfortably. Options in the centre. Cross blocked. That is how to apply the pressure. Well, quite a lot of the pre-match attention has been focused on Lionel Messi. If you believe the stories coming out of the camp, this could be his final season. Could he be thinking about hanging up his boots? Yeah, if the rumours are correct, it's going to be a big loss for the club. They've come to rely on his performances. We all get to that age where it all becomes a little bit harder on the body. He's starting to get to that age, so I wouldn't be too surprised. Surely! No. Gabby, happy to take on the shot. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Douglas Luiz. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Chance to cross.
Well, chasing this game, but the corner might help them. And played short. Diaby. Pulls it back. A oh, tremendous block. Lorian Beert. And support available. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Rodrigo. And he takes on the shot. Just couldn't get it through. A good effective pressure high up the pitch. William Saliba. Minch. Rodrigo. And going for goal. Determined block. Not a chance for Wolves to extend their advantage from this corner. <laughs> Who can he pick out? Mateus Cunha. Cunha. And players waiting in the centre. And the corner kick, the referee's verdict. Who's going to get on the end of it? And dealing with the danger. No more time left. That will conclude the first half here at Molyneux. Off and running in the second half. Wolves with the advantage, but still there was work to be done. And cut again from the flank. Can he finish? And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. So, 2-0 now. Douglas Luiz. Cunha. Textbook defending inside the box. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Wolves facing Nottingham Forest. Oh, can he finish it here, Derek? Well, as the replay shows, that's such a brilliant bit of skill to set up the chance. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is.
Well, the action underway again with Wolves very much in control of this one. Mateus Cunha. Cunha. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Could be threatening. Oh, did so well to deny him. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Aston Villa facing Crystal Palace. Cleared away comprehensively. Well, they've given him too much space. Looking for the right angle. Gabby. Showing a lot of guile there. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Really closing him down. And sloppy in possession from Villa. And I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. And time for the change now. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Kevin Danzo on the ball. Zava Costa. Diaby. He's beaten his man. Giving it a try. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping. Not letting the opposition have any scraps. Good width from Wolves. Oh, that is an outrageously good stop. Well, great reflexes from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And he's fired over the corner. Not the most confident clearance. And a wild, wild attempt from distance. Not one for the highlight reel, Stuart. Well, that's a waste. He had much better options there. Goal at Turf Moor is the word. For all the information, let's join Alex. It's a goal for Burnley. They're back in this now with 10 minutes left on the clock. Alex keeping us right up to date. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Could be a chance to break here. Bubakar Kamara. And here's Cunha. Oh, surely! Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. And this situation could be dangerous. And the flag has gone up here, offside the decision. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Conate.
Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. Teammates in the middle. And you need your defender to take charge. Well, that's the sign of a well-organised defence. Cunha. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. Cuts it back. Well, it might still work out for them. Cunha. Could be. Oh, tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. He's driven in the corner. And still danger here. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball. So penalty, yes. Yellow card, no. And he slots it home with confidence. Well, as you can see from the replay, the keeper tries to read the penalty, but he's sent the wrong way, and it ends up looking a very easy finish. So the referee says that will do it for this match anyway, and it goes into the history books as a win for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. But it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat, and he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.